Whew. What's going on? Let's see what they're saying here. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy. And that's what they were just about to tell me. All right, this is my first, first ever live on YouTube. I have no clue what I'm looking at. Let's try this out. Let's see what we got here. Comments, all right, some chat options. There we go. All message of it, there we go. I wanna see what you guys are saying. Stephanie, hey Stephanie, how you doing? Man, so this is my first, uh, my first ever live, live rather, on YouTube. Welcome. I have no clue what to expect. There could be five people in here, there could be 100 people in here, there could be none, I don't know. But we're going live, but I'm seeing some people showing up. This is great. Hi guys. Let me know you're here, let me know. I would like to see you guys. I mean, you, you fellas, you ladies, gentlemen, people of all ages. Hey, Carolina Maria, what's going on? James Brown, what's up? Ange, hi. Oh, well, this is so cool. It's one of the most nerve wracking experiences is when you go to do a live, and especially when it's like on a new platform, at least like, you know, in other lives, I know people will eventually show up, but this, I have no clue. Uh, Zachary, your voice is amazing, man. Keep at it, thank you so much. Amanda Martinez, hi. Bev, good evening to you. Hey guys, um, well, welcome to my first ever YouTube live. Um, I'm excited to try it out and see what we get out of it. I'm seeing the Q. hello, hi. Um, wow, my EP is coming out at midnight tonight. So depending on where you're in the world, I think it's already out or you know dropping. Um, but as of tomorrow, it's out in the world for good. Um, this has been a long time coming. And um, yeah, I've, I've put my heart and soul into these, these songs. I've written a lot of songs and picked these songs to come together to be, um, you know, to, to be the songs that I wanted to be part of the Sideways and here we are. So it's pretty crazy, you know, all, all the amount of work that goes into to making records and then putting it out in the world and it's my baby. So I'm gonna start by saying this though, if you're watching this, I do need your help. I need your help spreading this thing around the world I need your help sharing it with your friends. There's no person too little out there. Everyone is a massive, massive star in helping out. So if you can, when it comes out tonight, if you listen to it and it hits you in the heart or makes you feel something or you get up and dance or you cry, whatever it does, and you feel so inclined, I'd love for you to share it with, with the people that you care about most. Um, tell me where you guys are from, by the way. I know I'm seeing people jumping in and out, so I can see all the comments. They come in pretty quick and they don't seem to stay for too long, but. Let me know where you guys are from. I'd, I'm curious to see where the YouTube family is, is coming from. So we got people from Utah, California, California, Michigan, Arizona, Minneapolis, Cape Breton, some Canadians. Um, oh, Ontario, Canada, Calgary, Canada, Indiana, Leavenworth, Kansas, Jersey, Montreal, my home. This is so cool. Super, super cool. Um, so I thought tonight I'd jump on um, and play a few songs for you guys. Um, I'm gonna try my hands on a brand new one, I think. I was kind of playing around with it before I jumped on the live. Typically, you know, I've, I've, like I said, I wrote a lot of songs for, um, I, love, I wrote a lot, a lot of songs for this, this EP, and you know, it was the six that I picked along with my team to kind of, that we felt best suited and best fit the, the, the album. Um, you guys can ask questions. Ask everything you want. We're talking. I love talking. Anyone who knows me is going to tell you I talk too much. Um, but yeah, so I wrote a lot of songs. And I was, I was supposed to be touring with the Goo Goo Dolls and Lifehouse this summer. But unfortunately, given, you know, COVID and the situation, the state of things, it was best not to do that. And, you know, to make sure everyone out there watching who was going to come to the show is making sure that they were all safe. Uh, hey, Donna, there we go. Um, can you ask the story behind Wildfire? Sure, of course you guys can. Let me tell you a little bit more about what, what I'm saying here and then um, we'll get at it. But anyway, I, I, was, I was working on um, getting ready to go on tour and you know, typically what we do is you, you, know, you go through and you learn all your music and you have to kind of forget the hundreds of songs that you wrote and narrow it down to the six that, that come out on the EP, but haven't even had a chance to do that. So I've been kind of practicing my own songs, as weird as that sounds. Um, now as for some of the questions coming up, <laughs> Megan King, hi, Donna Evans, man, it's always nice to see your name. Okay, so someone asked me, um, go ahead and ask me again, sorry, I can't see the question, it's, it's escaped me, but you're asking about wildfire, if you pop that question up again, I'd be happy to answer it for you. So, 
whoever wrote that question, by all means, drop it again. Um, I heard that your tour is supposed to be, was delayed to next year. Um, what was the reason? The tour is delayed because of, of the pandemic right now. Um, and so, yeah, th it is rescheduled for 2021. I don't know if I'm part of that bill yet, but hopefully I would love to get on the tour. Um, okay, someone's asking the meaning behind uh, wildfire. Let me see if I can, oh, there we go. I can see this. Here we go. The story behind wildfire. Um, yeah, so last year, I um, it was around Halloween, I suppose. I'd just come back from a trip in Australia, and I was, you know, probably like a lot of you people out there, you know, especially I know a lot of you connecting with, you know, my spoken words like breathe and wildfire and, you know, swipe right and find me and whatnot. I was just, I was having a down moment. I wasn't feeling so happy, you know, and I think there's this misconception that people in my position might be like riding a, you know, cloud nine, but, but no, I'm just like you. We're all the same people. And I have my ups and downs, and it just so happened that I was having a down that day. And, you know, I was kind of, I wasn't too sure of my own self-worth. And um, it was around Halloween because I was telling somebody that, you know, I was, you know, basically my the mask that I was going to wear for Halloween was going to be myself. I wanted to just be myself. I was going as myself. And this, I got off the phone with that person, and they, um, they sent me a text, and they said, that looks good on you, you know happiness and a smile and being you looks good on you and it, it made me really I don't want to say sad because it wasn't it wasn't the feeling but it, it broke my heart in the best way possible it made me feel a lot of things and I remember getting quite emotional and I was bawling my eyes out and I just I was listening to a song another friend had sent me and just the words kept pouring out of me as they do when it comes down to spoken words and um, all those words just lined up and that is literally you know, what you hear is wildfire is, is a one take. That was all the words that poured out of my soul that day. And um, I think what I really, it was a lot of talking to myself, talking to myself through this feeling of being kind of low and not really having a lot of self-worth. And um, at the end of the day, I was trying to tell myself that I'm, I'm very unique, I'm very special, as we all are. And I hope that everyone who, who heard it and was part of that would feel the same thing, that you are a wildfire, you are so unique, man. You are literally a miracle, you're one of a kind. And if you're feeling down about yourself, then it's, you are so special, you're infinitely special. So that's what it was about, and that's that's the story behind it, at least a loose version of it. Okay, I've seen tons of questions coming. You guys are amazing. Keep asking them. I'll get to playing some songs. Maybe we'll, we'll do a song in the next few minutes here, and then... Uh, I'll answer some more of the questions. What kind of guitar is that? I love that question. Um, who wrote that? Kiana Estep. I hope I said that right. This is a Gibson J45. My lovely friends over at Gibson Guitar um, so kindly gave me this guitar to uh, tour with, and I so kindly never gave it back. So it's one of my favorite guitars. Um, my all-time favorite um, is my Jumbo, my 200, my J200. It's my baby. Her name's Leslie. She's in Europe right now, but I miss her dearly. I named her after my Nana, my grandma. Um, let me see what else you guys are saying. Saw your Facebook Live last night back for more. Awesome. Where am I from? I am from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I saw a couple Canadians in here earlier represent. Um, Monica, so great to see you. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so stoked to see your name popping up. How you doing, Monica? I think the last time I saw you was in Seattle. We were on tour at Need to Breathe, right? Um, Donna Evans, when you come back to Philly, uh, can I cook for you again? You can absolutely. Donna made us, we were on tour, I was on tour with my buddy Gavin James last year, and we, uh, we went through Philly and Donna made us these Irish burritos, which is burritos basically packed with cheese and potatoes. It's the best thing I'd had in a while. Um, Miranda says, I struggle with mental health my entire life but I've been in this depressive episode for 70 months and still going. Your song Breathe Wise and still is the one I listen to daily. Thank you. Miranda, I hope that, that that cloud lifts. I know that feeling. I think a lot of us do. If you know, Just to kind of prove a point, if anybody who's watching this has felt depressed, do me a favor and just put a little hand emoji. You know, Put your hand up. I would love to, for Miranda to feel like she's not alone in that struggle. I can certainly tell you that I was just talking to my girlfriend earlier saying the same thing that I've you know, I've been feeling a little depressed, you know, from time to time here and there. So you're certainly not alone. You're loved. We all care about you. We've all been there. Some of us are there right now. Some of us are coming out. Some of us are riding the high. But you certainly are not alone. Look at that. 
So it's okay to feel the low of the lows. I tell you, I've been there a lot. And that's what, you know, has helped me become the writer I am, I suppose. So I love that. I love seeing all those hands. That is awesome. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. I think Love Me was a song I discovered you with. I love it. Maybe you want to play it later. Yeah, I'd love to play that. Reese Forrest, you're a miracle. Oh, that's, oh, that's so kind. I think we're all miracles. You're a miracle. Um, let me read a couple more of these and let me get to playing a song for you guys. Do you have any recommendations for a cheap keyboard? Yeah, the one that costs less. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Depends where you are, I suppose. Um, which of your tattoos has the most meaning to you? Impossible. I mean, I think probably the one of my dog right now. My dog passed away this year and I really miss him, so that one makes me, makes me feel a lot of stuff. Um, wow, didn't know you were a fellow Canadian. That I am. Zach, where are you from again? Um, I heard one of your songs appeared on the Nickelodeon movie Playing With Fire. How did it make it to the end credits? It did, yeah. That was crazy. Can you, can you grab the, the DVD? It's in the top thing over there. Um, thanks so much. Um, yeah, so that, that I, I, look, I wrote the song and then it just happened to, the team over there picked it and, um, one of my other songs was picked for Grey's Anatomy. It was a crazy, that was a crazy few months. But here's it. I just bought this the other day. I was going to send a copy to my Nana because I know she doesn't have me on YouTube. So she can't see it. That, I was so stoked. It was a big, big dream of mine to have a, a song in a movie. That was like one of my biggest dreams. And my other biggest dream was to have a song in Grey's Anatomy. You know, like, man, for those things to come true. And, and it happened to be such a cool night. Um... I called up a bunch of my friends and we went to the Chinese uh, Chinese theater in Hollywood and it was just all of us in the theater. There was nobody else there. I think maybe one other person. And um, yeah, and then ended up getting the chance to watch this film, my songs in the end credits. It was so cool, man. But I, I'm so stoked that you brought that up. Um, Miranda says, a bipolar, borderline personality disorder, social anxiety, general anxiety. I'm almost, it's okay, man. Look, a lot of people don't know this, but I, I have a, a form of bipolar disorder as well. I definitely have social anxiety to the max and I've been depressed. Um, and, and I think the fact that you know that at 28 is really great. I certainly didn't. So you're doing, you're doing great, Miranda. Keep it up. Keep your head up. We're all here for you. Joseph, you said, Bree saved my life. Literally, I love your music. You mean so much to me. Joseph, I, you mean so much to me, man. I'm glad that those words resonate with you and make you feel something. This is so cool. I've never done a YouTube live. Why have I never done a YouTube live? I'm going to do all I do YouTube lives all the time now. Oh, Zachary, you said you're from Cape Breton. Man, I remember driving over the Kanzo Causeway years ago. You guys have a pink highway. That was nuts. Space Kid Ranger, need more poetry, bro. Can't stop listening to them. I'm from Jamaica. Space Kid, where are you from in Jamaica? I, I kind of grew up in Jamaica, dude. I lived in Westmoreland as a kid for a long time. Um... Oh, you guys talking about Panda. Thank you. Um, Michaela's saying, you have no idea how touched I am by your comment on TikTok. You have no idea how crazy it was for me to get on TikTok for the first time and see people like you doing what you guys are doing. You guys are amazing. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to answer a couple more questions. And i got to actually get to playing some songs. I'm, this is blowing my mind, all you guys asking all this stuff. Um, Chris says, do you play any sports? And if yes, your favorite. Um, I'm a hockey fan through and through. I'm Canadian. I can't hide that. I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan. I'm also a, like a football, like soccer fan. Love soccer. Um, if I had to cheer, I lived in Germany in a town called Darmstadt and I just really love that team. Um, and in football, like American football, roll tide. <laughs> Alabama all the way. And then I'd have to say, I probably I'd have to go with the Saints for the NFL. Just going to say, those are my teams. Um, do I play any sports? Unfortunately not. If I break, I break an arm now, man, I'm done. I, I do work out a lot though. Uh, Miranda, thank you. I was diagnosed at 18. You're a champ, Miranda. You're awesome. Okay. Let's see what's going on guys here. Um, let me see. I'm trying to get through you guys. You guys are Oh, okay, what's the, my favorite song off the new EP? Okay, hang on to all your questions. I'm going to play a song for you guys, and then we'll keep doing this. I've got no time limit here today. I'm blown away. I'm floored that there's so many of you guys logged in, and I get to chill with you. Um, I think what I want to play for you guys first, um, 
I've been doing it the last couple nights. Um, I released the first single off of, well, I guess the second single technically off Sideways. I mean, Put Your Hands Up came out first. Um, but I put out I Wish I Knew. And um, like I said, I've had to, I've had, I've been learning them. And it's a, a bit, it's a bit different when you do the songs with the full band and you're going on tour and stuff. And then in settings like this, they're completely different. So these songs become a lot more stripped back and intimate. You know, there's no music behind me. It's just me and my guitar. And um, you have to kind of rewrite them in a way. It's really strange. So, um, um, so yeah, so this is a song called Wish I Knew. And um, it's kind of like wishing that you could, if you could go back and understand a little bit more about what your relationships were and what they were like, maybe you could use that in the future. And so, yeah, that's how I feel about that. So I wish I knew. And feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of it. Rainy days in that cold apartment, that's where it started, and there was no stopping it. In that place, we fell apart, and that's where my heart lives, and there was no stopping it. As I watch you fade away, I wish I knew how to hold you. Say the words that I never told you I wish I knew how to listen And see the signs that I was missing I know that it's late and I took too long I just want to say that I know I was wrong Wish I knew, wish I knew, wish I knew Hurting bad, the same old story When a broken heart beats, yeah, there ain't no stopping it Now looking back, I can't ignore it As the tears are falling, yeah, there ain't no stopping none As I watch you fade away I wish I knew how to hold you Say the words that I never told you I wish I knew how to listen And see the signs I was missing I know that it's late and I took too long I just want to say that I know I was wrong Wish I knew, wish I knew, wish I knew Wish I knew how to love you oh, 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 oh. Wish I knew how to love you oh, 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 oh. Wish I knew I need a minute, I need a minute yeah. It is what it is, yeah. I wish I knew how to hold you and say the words that I never told you I wish I knew how to listen and see the signs that I was missing I know that it's late, you're already gone I just want to say you were right all along But I wish I knew, wish I knew, wish I knew Wish I knew how to love you oh, 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 oh. Wish I knew how to love you oh, 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 oh. Wish I knew how to love you Whew. That's what I wish I knew for you guys Oh, I hope you guys like it, you know. How's it sound out there, by the way? Uh, 
this song always hits me hard. You have such a gift for expressing your songs and how we feel. Thank you so much. That's a very kind thing to say. It's a huge compliment to me. Esmeralda Garcia. Thank you so much for the little heart. Calgary, what's up? Stephanie, thank you. Um, Reese says, uh, I still stand by what I said the first time two years ago. Um, you stole the spotlight when you opened for Need to Breathe. Oh, Reese, thank you. Uh, humming along and definitely trying not to cry. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, look, I, I think we've all been there. One of the cool things, you know, one of my favorite things about this EP, um, Put Your Hands Up was the first song that I came out with. And that came from being on tour. And, you know, I got to play some really beautiful places like Red Rocks and the Greek and, you know, from Nebraska to Kansas to all over the country. And, um, you know, and then in Canada, I got to play in Abbotsford and my first arena gig, which was pretty crazy. But all that, all that being said, I'm not trying to gloat, but um, I remember playing Heaven's Telephone, which is a song that is really, really hard for me to play because I, you know, I, I talk about the passing of my cousin. Um, she passed away when she was my age now. And um, she had two little children that she left behind and a husband and a whole world. And I remember getting up and playing that song a lot every night and uh, a lot every night, I played it every night. And I found it incredibly difficult to play it without telling the story of what happened to my cousin. And during the time when I was talking about it, um, it just it's just really emotional to talk about someone you care about passing away. And you know, it's kind of it breaks my heart that she was she wasn't able to see kind of what all what happened and how it came to fruition and, and where it all went. So anyway, I tell the story, and I remember like maybe a couple gigs in, I, I was I literally ball my eyes out I just find it so hard to talk about it without getting emotional you know it's not like a it's not like a it's not part of the act or anything I just literally can't contain my emotions and I'm an emotional guy if anybody's been following my career for a minute um and so I remember I was kind of breaking apart struggling and I was like man I'm not gonna be able to sing this song if I keep this up at that you know that lump in my throat and um I reached out for help to the crowd I was like hey if anyone else out there has you know felt what I've felt if you've experienced someone who's had cancer or passed away i just asked for the audience to raise their hands in solidarity with me so i knew i wasn't alone up on that stage and man i didn't expect to see what i saw back you know things like cancer or heartbreak or mental health or anything for that matter a lot of times you feel alone in it because you're going through it and you can't imagine that someone else out there would understand exactly what you're feeling in that moment because the feelings are so intense and I felt that and I was on stage and then I just asked everyone to put their hands up and every single person in the audience put their hand up. And I realized in that moment, I'm like, man, there isn't a single person here that hasn't felt what I've, what I've been going through. And I've been able to test that ever since, you know, like, f for instance, you know, like if anyone out there has gotten their heart broken, just put a little hand emoji up and let's see if, you know, I, I bet you there's 40 hands. So do me a favor. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll hang on for 30 seconds. If you've had your heart broken, just put a little hand emoji, you know? I'm curious. Let's let's test it. You know? At least we got two so far. Three, four, five, six. Monica's got a double, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it going. Let's prove the point. This is what I'm saying, you know, like, so you're not alone. And, 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 you know, and keep your hands going. If you felt like that heartbreak was the worst thing that you'd ever felt before, keep the hands coming. Because I know for me, I felt like it was the worst thing I'd ever felt in my life. I was like, how would anyone understand what it is that I'm going through? You know? So this is what I'm here to tell you. You're not alone in your experience. You're, you're loved. You're appreciated. You, you're certainly not alone. That's the big, big statement. Look, there's this hands nonstop. That's what I'm saying. You know, keep your hands going if you've had anyone pass away that you loved or cared about, you know? And I saw somebody said that they're going through that right now. Keep your hands going. There's something really powerful about that connection, you know? And I, I've, I've been really pumped and proud to be able to do concerts and connect with people like this because, you know, it's, it's one thing to go up and just be like, look at me, I'm playing songs. But there's, a, there's another thing to look at people in the eye and be like, we're the same, man. We're the same people. So, right? I agree. Yeah, my girlfriend's right behind the camera. So she, we all feel the same thing. We've all lost people we've cared about. We've all had our hearts broken. We've all felt a lot of stuff. So that was that's the whole point of all these songs forever. That's the artist I care to be, and that's the artist I will always continue to be, 
is the one who sits here and we all connect and we go, yeah, we're in this together. You know, you're not bigger than me and I'm not bigger than you. We're all the same size here. So anyway, that, that's what I wanted to say with that. And I wish I knew as a testament to that too, because it's, you know, all these songs, they're all parts of that. Let me talk a bit about the songs coming out on the EP. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to play another one for you off the EP that no one's ever heard. You guys are going to be the first people to hear it. Um, which I'm like, I was practicing a little bit before and I was like, oh, goodness. But whatever. We, we mess it up. We mess it up. I'll get better at it as time goes anyway. Or, or I'll nail it. Who knows? Um, anyway, when it comes to the EP, I wish I knew it was the same thing. It's like, it's knowing that we're not we're not, I'm not the only person, you know, and let me tell you a little bit about it. I spoke about it yesterday on Facebook, and I'd love to tell you guys a bit about kind of how it came to be, because it was, there's some weird stuff in this EP that's happened. Um, I wrote I Wish I Knew, I was sitting with some friends of mine, uh, I was at my buddy Will Larson and Nick Long, who are incredible songwriters, and they've become great friends, um, and we were hanging out one day, and we are like, what are we going to write about? But we'd been having this philosophical conversation about, like, kind of going back in time, and thinking of relationships with people we've loved and cared about. And um, we ended up talking a lot about Gary Chapman and the book, The Five Love Languages, for anyone who's familiar with that. And um, we were like, what would you do, you know, if you could go back? And I was like, man, I, I wish I would just like hold on differently or say words or listen. And it kind of just started listing off all the things from The Five Love Languages. And I was like, that's a trip, you know, that that's real. And um, Anyway, the, the crazy thing is all these songs on Sideways kind of started like painting a picture of my life once they were done and recorded and uh, written and recorded rather. You know, I, I ended up flying back to Germany to a breakup. I was devastated. It was really, really hard. And um, I was like, man, this is so crazy. And then listening to the songs and I landed at home and it was pouring rain outside and the apartment just felt cold and empty and heartless. And it felt like my heart was breaking there and I didn't see that there would be light at the end of the tunnel. I didn't know how things were going to handle, pan out. And then, you know, going through the motions and to talk about, you know, songs like I Saw Love or for instance, we'll just go from the album actually, we'll go in the order. Forever in a Day is like falling back in love and Forever in a Day is the, this timeless song that I wrote, you know, I was up by myself sitting in my studio and I it came out of nowhere. It was this like, you know, these these chords I was just kind of messing around with like So, I was playing those chord, chords rather. And this might sound so weird. I'm pretty sure I had like the the video of up in my head, the montage when they were getting old together and um I had this other idea of like the way a, a leaf would feel if a tree, like if a tree dropped its last leaf when it's going into go, go from fall into winter and then what it must feel like when it comes back to the other side into spring and it grows all those little leaves again. And, um, and then through summer where it just blossoms and blooms. And anyway, there, I thought that was such a beautiful romantic story in that. And so, you know, writing about that experience of like going through these cycles of life and love and bam, that happens to me. And then sideways is about things just kind of flipping and things being exciting and crazy and you might crash, you might burn, you might fall apart, but it's okay because things go sideways. Um, and then from there to I saw love, which is like, this is like, this is the crazy thing. This is like, oh, it all happened to me, man. I, I got my heart broken and then went to, I had to understand the cycles of love and life and then things went sideways and went crazy and this last year was nuts. I'm wearing a Kentucky hat and, um, and then I saw love. I mean, I got this lovely person behind this camera that I've fallen head over heels for, you know, to then put your hands up to know that like, hey, it's okay, we're all in this together. And then hold on tight, the ending song of the EP, which is, you know, I've written about it a few times where it's kind of like a blanket. I feel like hold on tight is just like, yeah, just hang on for the ride. So all these songs, you know, they just tell this really cool story. I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. I can't tell you enough about how excited I am. And again, if you're just tuning in, I need all the help in the world sharing it. I would love for this album and this, or this EP rather to reach as many people as possible. So if you listen to it and you feel so inclined, if it hits you in the heart or somewhere, tell your friends, man. There's no act too too small. Like Again, share it a thousand times if you will. But anyway, it's a really important thing to me. Um... Let me give you guys some options. I saw some people asking to hear Love Me. Um, 
I think I'm gonna, I was gonna do Heaven's Telephone today, but I think I would just like to, just, I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get cry today, so if we can, I, I promise you next time I do a YouTube Live, I will specifically start and fall apart with Heaven's Telephone for you. But today, if you don't mind, if it's cool, just because um, I just wanna keep these tear ducts a little bit dry today. Um, oh, that's such a nice comment. Hold on, what Kiana, I hopefully I'm saying your name, is it Kiana or Kiana? Um, to anyone in the chat who needs it, send in love and good thoughts to all of you. If you need a sign, things will be okay, this is it. That's a fantastic comment, man. I love that, that's nice, right? So nice. So nice, my goodness. Okay, so let me give you guys some options. I love that, by the way. Um, do what makes me happy. So we can do, I can do Love Me. I pulled Tread Lightly back out of the, the, the what would you call that, like the toolbox today. I hadn't, been, hadn't played that song in a while. I realize I've been in writing mode for so long that I've like forgotten a whole bunch of these songs. You know, like if I had to play Easy to Lie right now, I would have no clue where to start. I think it's C sharp. Ah, it's definitely C sharp. Um, also, I should tune this up for you guys so it's not all crazy. Um, I can do Love Me, I can do Tread Lightly. What do you guys want? Let me see. Just drop in what you guys want. I'll take the ones I see the most. Let me know what you guys want. Ooh, tread lightly, tread lightly, tread lightly. It looks like tread lightly is one of your G's. Oh, I see a couple love me's. I'll take a couple more. Oh, tread lightly. Oh, tread lightly. Uh, Michaela, I can't play breathe on right now. I'm sorry. There's so many words. I wouldn't even know where to start. Tread lightly. It looks like we're playing tread lightly. Got some love me. Oh, tread lightly, tread lightly. Why not? Oh, both. Maybe we do both. All right. Um, bear with me, okay? That's all I'm going to ask is because it's been a long time since I've played these tunes. So um, a little bit about Tread Lightly. So Minutes, the first EP that I came up with, um, it, Minutes for me, it was, it was an EP all dedicated around feelings of love. So if you go through the EP and you go listen to it tonight and you want to kind of refresh your mind before you listen to Sideways, um, I really wanted to paint with a lot of, you know, darker colors and tones and I, I really wanted it to be um, a really rich and deep album and, and, you know, I wanted every record on, on the EP rather to, to hold its own and say a lot. I really wanted people to feel a lot. And so every song is a shade of love. Um, love Me was what it was like to get my heart broken and to watch that person fall in love again. Um, if you take Tread Lightly, Tread Lightly was what it was like to think about getting married with somebody and to really put your heart on the line. It's such a fragile state to, to give your whole soul to someone and say, I'm yours for life and you're mine and we better take care of each other. Um, Heaven's Telephone was a type of love that came through loss, obviously, and trying to think of what comes after and beyond this part of the world. Um, where I first found you was about the type of love between soulmates and this question that I've had my whole life about what are we doing here when we woke up and inside our bodies are we searching for love or what's the whole point of this you know and if there is a soulmate out there will we find them I like to think so I think it's a very romantic thought um, easy to lie was the lust of love I thought that was a very interesting and dark color and then dear love last but not least was about what it was like to break up with love itself you know, and that's such a, and it was a unique feeling for me because I had that experience that, that kind of tested that all the things I thought about love. So with all that being said, tread lightly is what it's like to get married and to stand on the altar with somebody with their hands in your hands and to tell them you love them, you know? Tonight, you look lovely. It's your eye. There to find me. It's enough to know taking, enough to know taking your hands. Here we are holding our breath. Where we stand with our feet wet. And no matter where you go, no matter where you go, and come in. And I will tread lightly. You're a bunch of broken pieces that might need So I'm putting back together so don't leave Cause I can make it better tread lightly 
Where there's light, you can find me. It's your heart that reminds me to pull it all together, to pull it all together. We can. It's all right. You can try the words inside of your head. It's the hardest thing that I've ever said. You could take forever, you could take forever again And I will tread lightly Build a bunch of broken pieces in my hands So I'm putting back together, so don't be Cause I can make it better, tread lightly Tread lightly, better believe it That my heart's on my sleeve when There's a bunch of broken pieces inside me From our beating hearts as they were colliding Be gentle with me, darling, tread lightly Oh, I will tread lightly Build a bunch of broken pieces that might need Some putting back together, so don't My girlfriend's behind me like, yeah, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. That's been a long time since I've played that song front to back. Apart from, I, I did practice it earlier just for a second to see if I remembered all the lyrics. It's crazy to let your brain can remember. I need a second to take a sip of water there. Um, someday I hope to be as good of a, as a songwriter as you. I'm sure you will be. Why couldn't you be? Of course you can. Sang along with every word. That's amazing. What mic are you using? Where? The mic on the phone or the mics behind me or the mic down here, the mic over there? Which mic do you guys want to know about? Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. This is amazing. This is my, this has been one of my favorite lives I've done ever. Um, Kiana says, I will 100% love this at my wedding. Oh my goodness. Thank you. That voice is amazing. Thank you so much, Jay Campbell. That's very kind of you. Um, the mic for the feed, it's just my iPhone. Literally my iPhone. Um, I love the music video for where I first found you. I love that words are just not applied romantic love, but love for me. Thank you so much. I should read those out. Sorry, I just really lazily read that to you. Um, oh, Nathan Beagle, what's up? So my man Nathan that just popped up right there, if you see him in the comments, go like him. Follow him on other social media. This kid is awesome. He drives me mental. Um, he, he threatens me all the time because he doesn't like my soup and my cooking. And he's made fun of me, but I still love him. No, he's a great kid. He sent me this hat for Christmas and I, I wear it all the time in honor of him because uh, he's awesome. Um, and he's a young singer songwriter coming up. He's wicked awesome. I really, really think the kid is cool. Um, and just a good person. I just love good people. So, um, do you know where I can find the guitar tabs for this song? I don't know. They might be on Ultimate Guitar. I mean, otherwise, I just, you know, give them to you. So it means B flat, F, G minor, E flat. Um, yeah. Let's see what else you guys are saying. So I'm still getting used to YouTube Live. This is so cool. Um, you sound so good. I'm wondering what kind of mic to get from my son who enjoys singing iPhone. Yeah, I mean, it's the iPhone, I, I, you know, like, it, it depends what you're trying to do, you know. I mean, an SM58 is a great mic. It's a standard, your standard mic. You know, I have a bunch of different types of mics, but if you're just getting singing, I mean, just sing, sing out loud. The iPhone's great. It has a compressor in it, it's awesome. Um, let me see. 
James Brown, I will need to show the stream to my mom tomorrow morning because she's at bowling tonight. I hope she's kicking butt at bowling, let me tell you. Um, what happened with the put your hands up video? Okay, so a lot of people have been asking about that. I still have it on the back end, on the back burner, but there's just been so many things flying, so we haven't had kind of a chance to get that all sorted and finished up, but hoping to have that out at some point. Um, where and when can I buy a sideways CD? You likely have to, if you guys don't already have it, go sign up for my on my website. Just go to forestblack.com and scroll down um, just a little bit and you'll see a um, email blast thing. You can sign up for that and that will tell you everything when stuff comes out. You can also check on the website and see if uh, physical merchandise will come out. I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing for the shipping uh, through COVID and whatnot, but all the information will be there. Otherwise, on all you know platforms that stream, you can go and grab from there. You can buy from iTunes and whatnot. You know, unfortunately, there's no line wires anymore, so you can't rip me. Suckers. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, can I geek out every time you say my name? Okay, am I saying your name right? Is it Kiana or is it Kiana? That's I need to know. Um, Jen says I need a hat like that. Sending love from Northern Kentucky. What's up? I don't know what that was. I don't. That was weird. Um, will you have merch for this album? I mean, I have the merch for the old album. I'm sure there'll be something coming out again. That will all be on the website. You can go find there. Um, Debbie saying I'm listening and uh, on the phone multitasking at its finest. There you go. I love that. Um, yeah, let's do, I mean, let me see. Do you guys want... Um, California, California surfer. I don't know. What am I doing, man? You guys want to hear a little bit of Love Me? Is that what you guys want? Let me know. Kiana. Kiana. And then how to say your last name? Because it looks like E-step, but it could be E-step. It could be said with a really nice E-step. Kiana E-step. Brittany Ashford, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of people from Kentucky here. Your songs made my senior year a success thanks to your message uh, and the signed poster in EP Minutes. Oh yeah, that's awesome, man. And I graduated just in, uh, just in time, a year before pandemic. Congratulations, James Brown. That's a great name. Um, listening from South Africa, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for listening, and it's 3.47 a.m. I wouldn't miss you for the world. Thank you very much. That's awesome. South Africa. How do you say in South African? Is it Thank you very Plaisir? Plaisir? Am I saying that right? We got uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Whoop, whoop. Trisha flew from the Red Rocks. Flew. Oh, you went to Red Rocks. Um, where I first met. That's awesome. I love Red Rocks. What a show, man. That was so crazy. I was so stoked to be doing that again with the Goo Goo Dolls. Man, that would have been awesome. Damn. Love me, love me, love me. People want to hear some love me. Again, let me know. You want to hear love me? <laughs> Estepe. Kiana Estepe. I think that sounds like a cool name. Plesir, plesir. Yes, plesir. Keep doing this. I don't know what that is. I'm listening from Ethiopia. My girlfriend's laughing at me right now. She's like, that's a new thing. We're walking around. Like, yeah, what up, dude? Um, everyone says it with a soft E, so it may as well be. Step. How did, step, step, step. I don't even know. Red Rocks was epic. Your standing ovation was much. That was crazy. I cried so hard. I never had a standing ovation like that in my life. Ugh. Oh. Memories. Mm -hmm. um, what's this? Gino, I need to go, but thanks for being such a kind, inspirational person. Hope to catch you in another live in the future. Thank you so much for saying that. I hope to be able to catch you in a live next time. Always say hi. One of the greatest things about doing these lives, you know, is I get to remember names. So there's people that pop up over the time and I've come to know you guys and I consider you friends, you know, and like this is like my little family, you know, you know, it's crazy to think, like I was looking at my Spotify numbers and uh, Apple Music numbers and Amazon Music numbers um, just today, and I, I figured, I found out that 1.1 million people are listening a month, and that is like, that is so crazy. That's a lot of people to be listening to songs that I've written. 
But, you know, you get on a live and there's 50 people or something like that. You guys are the heart and soul. You guys are what make it happen. So I'm really just, I'm really, really grateful for you guys. I'm really, really grateful for all the people who show up and watch these streams or share me with your friends and people. I don't forget all you guys. And it's really cool seeing all the names pop up. Like Kathy, I know Kathy. I've spoken to Kathy. You know, that's the thing. When I put like my phone number at the end of Breathe and at the end of Swipe Right, that comes to my phone. So, you know, I've talked, I've spoken to people from all around the world, you know. It's unfortunately, I can't, it doesn't allow me to talk to people from, from Europe because it costs money. But if you're in America or Canada, but if people text me, I can get the text. And if you call that number, I can answer all the phone calls. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I will remember Kiana Estepe. Next time I see that, I'll see that. You know? Like Reese, I know Reese. I, that's the thing. It's so cool, man, to start recognizing people's names and seeing those con consistencies and just getting to know you guys. You know, like Donna Evans, I know Donna. Can't, can't not know you guys. So anyway, let me play a little bit of Love Me For You Guys. Um, oh, from Phoenix. Phoenix was a great show too. We had an incredible, an incredible standing ovation there too. Um, oh, Anthony, you made the viral, uh, the, the, the um, virtual choir. I loved that. I saw that yesterday. Somebody sent it to me. It was awesome. I was so cool. I loved what you guys were doing. I, I reached out to, um, I want to do a, a Zoom call with you guys. I would love to get all you guys together and just say hi. I, would, I thought it was so cool what you guys did. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I hope I'm saying it right. The Voena Choir made a, a video of Put Your Hands Up. They had all these people from all all over doing these, you know, singing, put your hands up, and they put it up on YouTube. You can go check it out. It's really, really cool. Um, okay, I talk too much. Love me. Let me go If you don't love me 
let me know If you don't love me, baby, love me, love me, love me, baby, why won't you let me go? If you don't love me, baby, love me, love me, love me, baby, why won't you let me go? Whew! Whew, dang. That was awesome. I haven't played that song, too. It's been a minute. You are actually a lyrical genius. Thank you. That's a very kind compliment. I appreciate that. What lyrics do you guys like of that song? Or if you say I'm a lyrical genius, what are the lyrics that you like? I mean, I do love that song. That song, that song changed my life. You know, in case anybody's watching this, you're wondering how it all happens. I've definitely been on the end of a starving artist and struggling. I still struggle a lot. But that was the song that changed everything. At least opened up some doors. Um... I didn't think I knew these but heart, by heart, uh, but it turns out I do. That's awesome. That's so cool. Um, that's so cool. Sorry. Um, I think I'll do a couple more minutes. Uh, the Queen of Space, I love that line. In case you're wondering, I, that's, I'm, I'm paying homage to Don Henley. So an artist that I really loved and, and have looked up to is Don Henley from the Eagles. And um, he wrote a song called Desperado, where he talks about, you know, the, you know um, he goes, don't you draw the queen of diamonds, boy, she'll beat you if she's able. The queen of hearts is always your best bet. And I remember writing, I, I learned how to sing a lot, you know, from listening to Don Henley and the Eagles. And um, so when I wrote Love Me, I didn't intentionally do it, but it started happening. And then I, I really formed the lyrics in a way to kind of say thank you to him. If I ever got to meet Don Henley, I would tell him, you know, here's a part of a song that I really was inspired, you know, a lot by the way you write. And so, you know, the queen of spades, she dug a shallow grave to keep her diamonds sharp. What you doing to me, babe? Is this a house of cards at the club for broken hearts? I love that line. You love that line too, right? It's my favorite. It's her favorite. It's one of my favorite lines, yeah. There's some really good lines from, from the new EP, though. I think you guys are going to absolutely love. Like, hold on tight. Man, there's just, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm so excited. It's, we're basically coming up on it right now. We're, we got a little bit of time and then it's going to be out. So, um, do you write your own music? I do. Yeah. I, I mean, I write by myself and I write with other friends. I mean, you know, I don't have a band per se, so it's oftentimes me and you know, who, who my people are for the day. So, you know, I've written music with, you know, people from all around the world. I often write in the UK. I write a lot here in Los Angeles I've, and I've written a ton of music. I've written thousands of songs in my life. So, you just hang tight because there's lots coming. Um, have you seen the dance, the Aliens Crew? I did. I, I thought it was brilliant. Um, I've spoken to the guy who choreo who did the choreography for it, Krill, and he's an incredible dude. And yeah, yeah. I uh, love your vocals. Got to go. Hope you can do another live. I will do another live. Uh, you guys want to hang out for just a few more minutes? Maybe I'll do a give an attempt at one of the new songs. You'll be the first people to hear it. Let me know by a show of hands if you want to hear one of the new songs. Kiana Estepe. I'm so excited for the new EP. I cannot even. Kiana Estepe. I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, have you ever come to Calgary? Yeah, I started my career in Calgary. I started playing at the Ironwood in Calgary. That's where I got, that's where I first started, my first open mics. I brought my girlfriend to meet Pat, the owner of the Ironwood, and I love him. Uh, paint a map back to the start, leaving footprints to remind us. Uh, thank you. I love where I first found you. If you guys want to know something really cool, you may not know this, or maybe you do. Keep letting me know if you want to hear a new song. Um, if you go listen to where I first found you and find me, they're actually soulmates, those two pieces, in case you didn't know this. Um, the chorus of where I first found you is find me where I first found you. And so those two pieces are twins, soulmates, twin flames. So they go find me where I first found you. And I felt like I couldn't fit all of my thoughts and feelings into the three minutes that I had for where I first found you. So I wrote the four and a half or five minutes of, um, of find me to tell you more about how I felt about that. So when you listen to those two pieces, they're, they're meant to go together. They paint with the same colors and they tell the same story, you know, or different parts of the same story, different sides of the story that might be better. Um, you really do have a great voice. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Um, 
Yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see all the, or to read all the new lyrics. I'll be posting them on genius.com, so in case you wanna go check out, um, that's a, a place where artists like me can put lyrics and then you guys can ask questions or you can annotate, you can write whatever you want, whatever the songs mean to you. So feel free by all means, go grab Genius and uh, check it out on there. I'll be posting all of them tonight so you'll have access to all the lyrics as of midnight tonight. So, would love to hear a new song. Okay, let me tune up my guitar. Somebody else out there, just sing for me for a sec, okay? Please, that'd be great and fantastic. Awesome, oh, great, great voice, you sound fantastic. Can't believe you're singing like that. Oh, yeah. I knew you were the one. Um, I think a new song. Kathy, Midnight Eastern, it should be out, absolutely. Midnight, wherever you are in the world. Okay. Would love to hear a new song. Okay, let me give you, this is the first time I've ever played this song. Um, man, I'm a bit nervous, if I'm being honest with you. Okay, this song is called I Saw Love. And it's about that feeling of just seeing someone and looking in their eyes and going, man, I love you because I see that you love me, so. Here we go. They say you'll know when you find her. When your heart starts racing faster than your mind does. Oh, and mine does. Oh, yes, mine does. It's nearly bursting at the seams, and I don't mind. There's no easy way of knowing I just couldn't help but show it Cause you were busy throwing arrows in the dark When I saw love, love, love in your eyes I saw love, love, love in your eyes You stole my heart And I don't mind it Cause I saw love of love in your eyes They say you'll know When you find him When your eyes open so wide It's nearly blinding And you won't mind it Cause he reminds you Of all those fairy tales You thought you'd left behind There's no easy way of knowing I just couldn't help but show it Cause you were busy throwing arrows at my heart And sometimes you just know it And even though it's hard to show it Cause a fire never starts without a spark And baby, you're my spark And I saw love, love, love I saw love, love, love in your eyes You stole my heart And I don't mind it Cause I saw love, love, love in your eyes oh, oh, oh. Mm Starts racing faster than your mind does. Oh, and mine does. Oh, yes, mine does. It's nearly bursting at the seams, and I don't mind. Cause I saw love, love, love in your eyes. I saw love. Don't mind
YouTube first. That's the first time I've played that song. That's I Saw Love. It makes my heart happy. It makes my smile all go big. I love that song. I hope you guys love that song. It's a really special one to me. Um, I wrote it with two good people, Paul Meehan and uh, Paul Berry, whom I love. And Paul Berry is a very a, a dear friend of mine and one of the first people I ever wrote a song with. And um, I'll tell you guys all about it once um once the EP's out, I'll tell you a lot more about how that song came to be. It was a special one. It was one that just wrote itself. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being part of my first ever YouTube Live. This was incredible. I can't believe it. We've gone over an hour, man. I, you know, I was freaking out and being like, ah, oh, maybe I'll be on for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But you guys are what made it so special tonight. Thank you. Thank you a hundred million times. Um, again, Sideways is out tonight. Please tell people, please share it. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but this is my my life's work coming to the culmination of this point, and I need all the help I can to get it out in the world. So if, you know, as much as you can without annoying people, but it would mean a great deal to me to see you guys sharing it. And please let me know how the songs make you feel. Tag me in stories, post about me on Facebook. Let me know. I see everything. I look at all the comments. I'll end up going back and looking at all the comments that you guys wrote in here, and I'll do my best to try and respond to the ones I maybe didn't answer. So again, from the bottom of my heart, from my soul, thank you so much for being part of this. I still can't believe that I get to do this for a living, and I can't believe that this is my life. I never in a million years imagined that I'd be able to pull this one off. So thank you for tuning in wherever you are in the world. I know it's late on the East Coast, and then people are tuning in from South Africa and Ethiopia and beyond. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Again, from the bottom of my heart, you're amazing. And also I want to say, I want you to say hi to Tiffany. She's been in the background. She's been championing me. She did some artwork that you guys would saw. Come, come say hi, babe. I just want to introduce you because she's awesome and she's been filling my heart up with love and you guys, she deserves to say hello to you guys. This is Tiffany. Hi. Feel free to say hi. Anyway, she's been watching me stressed out trying to fit, you know, I was like, I want to be able to do an awesome live for you guys. So I hope you guys loved tonight. I hope it hit you in the heart. I hope you felt good. Um, Y'all are amazing. Man, this is just the start. I got a whole bunch of stuff and I just, I haven't told anybody this, but you'll be the first people to know. The EP's not it. There may or may not be some more. So let's just get this ball rolling. There's a lot, a lot of songs out there that need some love and need to come out. So Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Thanks for being part of my story and part of my journey. You're my family. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Find me. Do all that stuff. Subscribe. Uh, Nathan, why you got to <laughs> do that to me? Okay. Before I go, I'll send you off on this. Nathan, you, Nathan, I thought I was going to get away from it. You want to sit with me, babe? Here. Sure. We'll get her to sit in with me. All right. We did this yesterday. Nathan's got to go and call me out. Dang you, Nathan. Um, there's a song I've been writing for about two years now. Maybe even a little bit more. You're so pretty, how do you do it? You're so pretty, Keanu. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Ropes is a song I've been writing for two years. I've got melodies in my head like crazy and I've written parts of it, you know. And I've been giving away little hints of it. But no one's heard it other than all my fans. The label hasn't heard it. My management hasn't. Well, my manager did hear it. He, he sent me a message today. He's like, uh, excuse me, ropes? And I was like, uh. But this is, it's a song I'm really, really in love with. It's taken a couple years because songs are labors of love, you know, and they need to have their own time to tell their own stories. So we look great together. Thank you. Thank you. Well, kiss me now. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that was my first internet kiss. <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm crushing. So anyway, this is ropes, and I'll give you a little bit of the course. And oh, oh, what's next? We'll be strangers before the night ends. Won't we? Oh, 
what's next We'll trade diamonds for hearts and not just what we do We both know what's next We'll be strangers before the night ends What we do, we both know Oh, we both know Oh, I forgot the end. I messed up, I'm just kidding <laughs> I never play the ending Actually, no, I'll play it for you. I'll play it for you. And, 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 and oh, oh, what's next? We'll be strangers before the night ends. Won't we do? We both know. Oh, what's next? We'll be. Oh, I keep messing up. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you got this. Okay, one more time. One more, third time's a charm. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Way to pull me out, Nathan. <laughs> and oh. Oh, what's next? We'll be strangers before the night ends. Won't we do? We both know. Oh, what's next? We'll trade diamonds for hearts and not just what we do. We both know. Oh, what's next? We'll be strangers before the night ends. Won't we do? We both know. Words that. We'll hang love like the ropes round our necks. Anyway, that's a piece of ropes. Just from me to you. Thank you so much again, guys. Have a great night out there. Wherever you are in the world. I don't know why I did that, but I saw Sean Mendez <laughs> do it once and I thought it was really cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. And if you guys keep commenting after, I don't know if this stays up live, but I'll be going and reading, so feel free to check in. All right, guys.